This week I got the chance to hang with three guys called Neddy, Robert and Sean. Childhood buddies who got together to form a band that would go on to take their inner city hip hop style and sound to stages all over the world. They are the original Rude Boys. The original Rude Boys, or O or B, as you're calling yourselves now, what was with the name change? Well, there wasn't so much of a name change. Walter decided on Twitter to abbreviate original Rude Boys to ORB because all the kids are shorting the nowadays and hashtagging. And media and newspaper picked up on it very quickly and people were going crazy about our fans were asking, are we breaking up? Are we changing? What's happening? It was just a random thing. So you kind of got to know each other through school and hanging out and all that. When did you kind of progress it to sitting down and making music? We were stuck in my house, just chilling and jamming myself and Rob. Walsh showed up with a ukulele and one of our friends who was there, fortunate enough, was doing photography at the time in college. He videoed the song we done, which was just a jamming thing, stuck it up on YouTube and the next day got 10,000 views and we didn't know, half of us didn't know what YouTube was at the time and it just kept climbing and climbing and yeah. that's when we, the sort of realisation occurred to become a band. <laughs> Outside you look fine, but behind that smile you're crying. A big game changer for you guys was, I guess, going to support the script on their world tour, a massive meds of dates right across the globe, and I guess opening you up to a brand new audience. How was that? It was a big deal for us because a lot of critics said, you know, they've got a good sound, but they can't see it getting out of Dublin 1, where we were from. The script lads came along, they heard one of their videos when they were playing in New York, and asked us to do a world tour with them. The Irish accent, which was something at the start for us that critics said it's not going to work. Yeah, this is never going to work. Worked hugely in our favour. For the Irish accent to be like almost like kind of like an aphrodisiac to, to women, it's kind of weird, like you know. What keeps you grounded? I always say the area we come from, it's very easy to be brought back down to earth. There's no one going to give us a big head in the inner city, which is a great thing. It's about just continuing the growth of the music and pushing it as far as you can get it, really. I mean, if there's private jets along the way, so be it. And you've just released your, your latest single for charity, Never Alone. It's associated with two charities called Walking With Shoes and Console. All the proceeds from this song will go towards both charities split equally. You've all got actually a very distinct look, but it somehow blends. Do you work with a stylist? You know what, we've been asked that a couple yeah, of times, haven't we? Yeah. We, we genuinely don't. I remember hearing the saying, if you look good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you do good. If I look good and I feel good, I'm happy. You look great. So talk to me about personal style. It's all high street. Bit of DIY in there. I woke up and had the idea that I said, you know what, Ned, you've got great knees. The world needs to see those knees. The boots are Doc Martens, old school style for the winter. The short is Urban Outfitters. What about you, Walchi? I actually got this in a shop that I don't usually shop in Bourne. It's a great Mac. I love the little pop of colour in the watch. Yeah, oh yeah, the G-Shock is essential. Another street piece, you can shower in it. Don't have to worry about it. That's why I like the G-Shocks. And Rob, I'm sensible you that your style has a slightly more rock aesthetic to it. That's probably what I'd lean towards more so would be the skinny jeans, the pair of vans. I know that your signature style is very kind of urban, street, but you also love a bit of fine tailoring as well. Yes. Oh yeah, no, I'm a fan of fine tailoring. Any man will tell you that when a tailored suit hits the skin, you feel good. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. And keep the style going. Cheers, man. Thanks very much.